What's up guys? Back in the woods. It's been a long time since I said that. Beautiful day today. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can remain sane during this market because I see a lot of people, including influencers, falling off, eggs in the market, the stress is getting to them, the red's getting to them, and a lot of people are finding it hard to tread the water per se. Stay the course. You know, I had someone on Discord recently ask me if it was too late and I said no we were still at least a year out from getting like really good gains you know old coin season still weighs away Bitcoin dominance is still high you're still gonna see new coins get launched you're gonna see catalysts come and go you know we got the elections coming the Fed has to cut interest rates which will eventually shuttle into Bitcoin because people will start moving their money from savings accounts and high yield accounts into Bitcoin which is a risk on asset and at that point, we're going to be more in a bullish, you know, territory. And right now I see mosquitoes flying by me, so I'm probably going to get bit a lot, but I miss walking out here. But what I'm exactly doing right now, walking in the woods, you know, I encourage you guys to get out there and start finding things to do during this time. Because it's the ones who are immersed in crypto 24-7 who are probably finding it very tough. And it's the same for the influencers, right? Same for anything. If you do something too much, too strong, too quick... You burn yourself out. And a lot of people right now are burned out. They're burning they're burning themselves out literally. They are making their lives all about crypto. And it's no different than like fitness. You go to the gym seven days a week, you're bound to injure yourself or lose motivation at some point, or really anything. You find any hobby you like. If you do it too much, you either lose motivation for it, or you stop caring about it, or you just eventually become stressed trying to become better at it or in some facet related to it so what i've been doing what i recommend you guys to do is find a hobby you know it could be anything walking outside playing a sport playing with your pets going on a vacation if you really have to you know hanging out with your friends you don't have to like go out and start blowing money on extravagant things but you can at least take your mind off crypto you don't have to read graphs all day it's the ones who constantly trade crypto who find it the most stressful because they're constantly chasing the high and lows. They're addicted to the gambling side of crypto, which is the short answer. It's, it's an addiction. You know, crypto is an addiction like anything else. Freaking bug just flew in my eye. <laughs> Killed it. But uh, like I said, it, it's chasing the quick fixes that ruins many investors. You know, it's the ones who try to chase fast money. And like most things in life, it's too good to be true. It probably is. So whether you're buying low caps, buying hedges, DCAing, you're struggling. Like I said, you want to focus on buy and hold investing. The only time I trade is if I see a really good opportunity, which is, you know, few and far between. Or I'm pivoting out of a play because I want to safeguard risk. I'm no longer bullish on it, you know, or it has a deal breaker, migration, shady founder, you know, so on and so forth. So for the most part, though, I buy and hold. You know, and sometimes I'll pivot for reasons, like I said. But at the end of the day, it's all about setting yourself up. I always say it, you know, over and over, positioning yourself. So, but having an outlet is very crucial to remaining sane because you won't be so immersed in crypto, which maybe sounds like bad on the surface, but in reality, you'll feel much better when you go back into crypto, when you're checking the charts again. So if you're gonna be in crypto, full time maybe check it you know once during the day maybe before bed or when you first wake up and then throughout the day be productive work your job go to the gym hang out with your spouse your dogs your cats have a hobby that way when it's time to take profits you're not freaking out along the way a lot of people that have problems in this market especially during this time are the ones who are making it their full-time job and have nothing else going for them you don't wanna fall into this trap, trust me. Once you start becoming emotional in crypto and make your first bad move, it becomes like a domino effect and you start hitting the market, you become bitter, you become angry, and you start becoming you know, more of a gambler. You start taking bigger risks. And over time you realize if you had just stayed the course, not made any huge moves, and just did what you can with what you had, with the time you had, the money you had, you would have been way better off. So, you know, a quick video, I'm not trying to make this a very long video, but at the end of the day, just make sure you're you're taking care of yourself mentally. I always say like, if you feel good mentally, 
usually you feel better physically and spiritually and at the end of the day it's all about coming out on top with more money whether you become financially free or not whether you become rich or not you want to come out of this with a forward moving mindset with a better future that way next cycle you can come back not at step one like most people but way ahead of them way ahead of yourself where you were before you started and you can make even more progress going forward and by the way if you want to reach out to me talk to me so crypto on buying selling trade and next be a part of private q a live streams and conference calls we did one last night it was a great call see my profit taking course track my portfolio be part of a group of diverse investors which over 45 already had made six to seven figures that i encourage you to join patreon and discord i'll leave a link in the pink comments down below that being said now i want to hear from you how do you handle stress and emotion in this crypto market and what is your goal for this cycle drop your comments down below and let me know if you enjoy this video please leave a like it really helps so much that being said i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time